Dr. Paul, we've got a 13 day old who's here for follow up of jaundice. That's the yellow color to the skin. We're gonna chat about that. Let's go take a look. So, this little one is 13 days old. That is so cool. Where did you deliver? At Good Sam. Good Sam. Yeah. I had one or two of my babies there. Yeah, we had a good experience. Yeah, they're a great place to have a, have yes. a baby. Was and was it vaginal C-section? Vaginal. All right, delivery was fine? Yeah. All right. I remember reading that we had a bilirubin, so for the listeners, when red blood cells break down, we're gonna have to just, we just have to hold you, huh? Yeah, I hope you feel better. When red, red blood cells break down, they release bilirubin, which is a pigment that's very yellow, and it makes you look yellow. Why do we care about that? Well, I've already talked to mom, I've already talked to mom and dad and they know not to worry because we're on top of this. But if you ignore jaundice in a newborn and their bilirubin gets too high for too long, let's say in the 20s, close to 30, for two to three weeks, it can stain the brain and cause brain damage. How many of you really know what kernicterus is? Little babies, newborns, infants, that first few weeks of life who have extremely high bilirubins. When the red blood cells break down, they release this pigment bilirubin and it can stain the brain to the point where you start having seizures and permanent neurological damage. It's horrific. I've only seen one case. It was a case when I was in training 30 some years ago and the parents had their baby in the hospital but never came back for follow-up. But it had been a very high level of bilirubin. When that baby came in about three weeks of age, bilirubin was over 30. So we're gonna take a look at this graph here. This is the bilirubin from zero all the way to 25 on this axis. And these are hours of age. So there's 24 hours day one. It is normal to have a bilirubin as high as six, maybe even seven. By day two, it's normal to be 11 or 12, maybe even 13. We're out here and you can see it, it rises for the first four or five days, levels off, and then we'll eventually, by usually about the age of the baby we just saw, week two, it's going down naturally on its own without anything. This high risk zone is where you are at risk for developing problems. Basically, if it's over 30, that's an emergency. Here's the thing though, for 99.9% .9 of you, your bilirubin will never get over 20. It's never gonna last longer than two or three weeks. You have zero risk of carnicterus, but you cannot ignore it. This is why it's so important with jaundice to at least know the level and pay attention to making sure you get it down so it doesn't get into those really dangerous levels. It's the reason we have concern when we see a jaundice baby. You just have to be careful. Mom already looked this up on Google so we know that she knows about it and there's zero risk of that here because it peaked at 18 on day five, it was down to 12.8 on day seven and here we are at day 13. We're over birth weight so great uh, job in feeding. The way you get bilirubin to go away is phototherapy and this little one had phototherapy for two days in the hospital and it brought it down from 18 to 12 as I said <clears throat> and then oftentimes the bilirubin will rebound a little bit so it goes back up you get rid of that bilirubin by exposure to light which is the phototherapy and by feeding well so volume feeds will help flush out the bilirubin and mama's done a great job with you well mom and dad you're both doing a great job <laughs> so I know, it's, it's probably eating time, isn't it? Yep. So jaundice also tends to start at the face. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, honey. It starts on the face and then it moves on down the trunk. It can get down to the legs and as it goes away, the face and the eyes are the last to clear up. So if we try to look at these eyes, when I do a little back and forth, sometimes the eyes open. And you look, if you can get a glimpse of the whites of the eyes, wee. <laughs> Sometimes you can get them to open their eyes if they sense that fa falling. These eyes are almost white now. I've seen way, way more yellow. We are gonna do a reassurance billy check. So it's just a little toe poke, heel poke, and we get a total billy. And my prediction is this one's gonna be way less than the 18 that it was, probably around where it was before, that 12, 13 range, which is totally fine and safe for a baby that's two weeks old and uh, feeding well and gaining weight. So this is hyperbilirubinemia, jaundice if you will, 
and a really cute baby. So mm -hmm. you guys give a thumbs up and share this video with everybody else that loves babies. I'm Dr. Paul.